Less than an hour ago, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi touched down in Taiwan despite warnings from China, a history-making moment, the first visit from a U.S. Speaker of the House in 25 years. Let's go now to our Washington correspondent, Anne-Marie Hordern, who is outside the White House for us. Anne-Marie, we've already gotten reaction from the Chinese side, the foreign ministry, talking about the issue of the one China policy, how it is a front to that and it risks further tensing relations between the U.S. and China. We're starting to get some reaction as well on the U.S. side, not though from the White House from Republican senators. Yeah, Republican senators coming out, led by uh, Senator Sullivan. Also, as well, you see Senator Mitch McConnell signing on to this press release. About two dozen or so Republican senators saying they support Speaker Pelosi. They support her visit to Taiwan. Uh, of course, they also are agreeing with the fact that they uh, abide by the One China policy, but they're happy to see the Speaker. And we heard this from Republicans leading up to this trip. Will she go? Will she not go? We've heard from them saying they want to go. Kevin McCarthy himself said if he's Speaker of the House next year after the midterm elections. He would love to leave a bipartisan delegation to Taiwan. And so she has that support from both sides of the aisle. We also heard from Speaker Pelosi. She put out a statement. She's tweeting now live from Taiwan, talking about that she wants to support democracy, democracy especially in the face of autocracy. But she also said that this does not change yep. U.S. policy, the one China policy. So far, mum on the trip is the house behind me. We have yet to hear from the White House about Speaker Pelosi landing in Taipei. Amory, if the president had asked her not to go, would she have listened? So the backstory about this is that the president pretty directly said to reporters that the military has advised her that now would not be a good time to visit Taiwan. Now, we do think that, and we have reporting, that the White House wasn't so keen on her going, but Speaker Pelosi said that she wanted the president to say that publicly because she had planned to go. She had planned to go since, uh, since April, and that got stopped because of a COVID infection. Uh, the president did not say explicitly in public that she should not be going, and then the plan went ahead and this is where we are today.